today we are going to talk about the four things that we can do to tap into our superpower. So the first thing you need to know, number one, is that you are a beloved son of God. That everyone is a beloved son of God. Um, every, every human being is a beloved son of God. He loves every human being that enters into the earth. So um, I have a couple scriptures to just kind of give you a foundation about how wonderfully you are made and so that you would realize too that that is who you are. That's the I am part of it. I am a beloved son of God. So um, Ephesians chapter 1 5 says he is the architect of our design his heart dream realized in our coming of age in Christ. What that means is our coming of age is our realizing who we are in Christ, that we are beloved son. That's, his, that's God's heart dream, and he's an architect of you and you knowing that you are a beloved son. And then his, the next verse is his grace plan is to be celebrated. He greatly endeared us and highly favored us in Christ. His love for his son is is his love for us. He loves us as much as he loved his son. So, um, you know, the, and then it, said, it goes on to say, the gospel is not about telling people how lost they are, but reminding them of how loved they are. So it's just a new thought process to just cause love to be the center part of, as you walk this out and figuring out who you are, who somebody else that you love is, or some, you just, you have to always come back to love and that you are a beloved son of God. And then the last scripture is this, it's Ephesians 1.11. This is how we fit into God's picture. Christ is a measure of our portion. We are in him, invented and defined in him. God's blueprint intention is on exhibition in us. Everything he accomplishes is inspired by the energy and intent of his affection. That's who we are. We are the beloved Son of God, number one. Number one. So number two is that we all have a gift, a dominant gift, that we're wired. This is how we think. Whether you're saved or not, you have that gift that's working in you. And so the second one is identifying what that dominant gift is. And we have a whole teaching on that, which we're not going to go into, because we're just talking about how do we hack into our superpower so if you don't know what your gift is, that's something that you'll need to discover. Once you identify that gift, then we go into the, the third hack into discovering and tapping into your superpower. But there is a way, a weakness tied in with the gift that you have that we have to work on. So your weakness is not going to be the same as somebody else's weakness. So that's why we can't compare or judge because we are we are all different gifts and so you want to discover what it is not only your gift is but what is that weakness that's tied to that gift and that's what we need to work on yes and and in that that um, the, it, the even if you're the same gift as someone it could look different simply because you're raised by different people and taught to think different ways cultures think different um, parents will teach you to think different than like somebody else that's your gift. And so um, really the, the biggest thing is realizing the weaknesses in the way you think that don't line up with the Word of God, that don't, that don't say yes to what He says yes to as far as who you are and, and, and His plans for us as we walk this life out on earth. So the thinking process is so huge because that then out of what you think is how you do. So that's the second part of our three parts, too, is how do you do? And then the last part, number four, number four is the superpower. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's so exciting to think that we would all have a superpower and, and that it would not always be the same as someone else because we need to be diverse. If we all look the same, it would not be good. If we all did the same thing, there'd be so much missing. But, you know, these superpowers are very powerful and um, so the teaching is exciting to get into when you realize you have a superpower but you can never fully be your superpower until you realize who you are 
get, the, get your thoughts on the thoughts of God and how He thinks. Because then the superpower is not even something you'll do. It, it'll just come out and that's what you'll be. You'll be your superpower. And so that is so exciting to realize that then that's where the rest comes in. Is you're just being who you are. And, and, and realizing the love that you have and, this, and coming towards you to give out. And you get, just get to be and those superpowers are, are life changing for those around you. So let's just review. So number one is knowing that you're a son of God. Mm -hmm. Number two this is God. identifying your gift. Number three is realizing thought patterns um, and, and coming into um, thinking properly. Yes. And, and overcoming your hard parts, yes. which will always have thought patterns tied to it. Yes. And then number four is being who you are and having the superpower just flow. It's just a flow. Yes. It's just, it'll just look like Excel to be. It'll yes. just be like, you'll just be being and everything will be changed around you. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so those are our, our four tips for hacking into your superpower. Obviously, that's not all to the teaching, but as we close out, why don't you give us a blessing? Yes. Well, I just am so excited to bless every every individual that's watching this. I'm, I bless you to discover that, that you came from God, that you were with Him before, even, even before the foundations of the earth, before the fall, you were with Him. He had a plan. He sent you here at a specific time and place. So I bless you to realize that you're not an accident, that you're on purpose by God, that He looks down and loves you and, and just wants to his purpose was to see you succeed in life and be all you can be. So I bless you to connect with your gift um, and just walk that out and realize the whole time mistakes are made, wrong thought patterns, but you know that grace is always there to to just cover it and and we just we get second chances every day. So I just bless you to walk this out and to forgive yourself. Forgiveness is key. I bless you to be a forgiving of yourself so that you can get back forgiveness and I bless you to be who you are and have your superpower released in the earth.